Hey guys, very recently I taught a class in front of about 90 some police recruits and one of the questions I asked them was, how can you tell when someone's carrying a gun? It's not gun! Some of the answers were really obvious, some of them less so, um, and a couple even sort of surprised me. I don't know that I lend equal credence to every single one of those, but there were um, 28 of them actually, as I look at my list. I'm going to tell you the list, and uh, some I'm gonna offer with no commentary, some obviously there's going to be commentary. So the first one, the very first one that came up, printing. That was what the first guy said, printing. In other words, seeing the outline of a gun underneath whatever garment they're trying to conceal it with. So easy, everybody knows this one. Uh, it's interesting to me, some people say printing doesn't matter, some people say printing matters. I say it's probably contextual, but understand that's the first sign. The second one, touching the area where the gun is. Uh, I think that's probably something that people who are not accustomed to carrying a gun or they're not comfortable with it do, and it may be a nervous habit, but nevertheless, that is a key indicator that somebody's carrying a gun. Three, blading, or trying to turn that part of their body away from casual observation. I think depending on the context, that may be the case. Like you may see that when someone's carrying a gun. Four, BDU pants or like military style or cargo pants, which seems legit. I think that probably when you see somebody who's dressed like that, it certainly raises the odds that they're also carrying a gun. Next, somebody who wears the same wardrobe over and over again, or I think a similar wardrobe. That may or may not be a factor when you're just out in public, but if you're around the same people a lot and they see the exact same clothes over and over again, it could be a clue, especially if you're trying to carry in a very non-permissive environment, so understand that. I know that Gabe White was telling us when I took a class with him that when he found a shirt that worked really well for his draw, he went out and bought every single one in the store. And so for the longest time, and I don't know if it's still the case, I haven't seen him in a little bit, whenever you saw Gabe White, he was wearing a gray polo shirt and black pants. It was like the Gabe White uniform, but he had optimized that set of clothes for his style of carry and draw. And it worked really well for him, but that could be an indicator. Next on the list, tying a hoodie around your waist. That one, I don't know that I agreed with, but their, their statement was you're trying to hide something. Maybe, maybe that is the case. So somebody who shifts a lot in their seat and the person who offered that up offered it in terms of somebody who was carrying appendix and didn't have a particularly comfortable setup or holster so i i could believe that i think for some people it's an issue i think for some it is not sometimes it may be an indicator so consider it if it applies to you baggy clothes in general was one that was offered i think that seasonally inappropriate or clothing that isn't particularly appropriate to your body style, like overly baggy, could be a clue. I know that younger kids, younger adults tend to wear much more form-fitting clothes. I think once you start getting up in years and you're around my age, that maybe that it's just what old cranky people wear. So I don't worry about that so much, but I don't know, I, I probably, it's pretty obvious when I'm carrying a gun, I think probably a lot of people know. Oakley gas can sunglasses, I think, or any big Oakley glasses, people say that is a tell or a clue, and I, I could believe it. Uh, inappropriate clothing for the weather is always a key indicator, somebody who's way overdressed when it's hot, that makes sense to me. Tactical belt or a belt that doesn't really match the wardrobe could be uh, an indicator. Somebody said if they're wearing a MAGA hat, a Make America Great Again hat, that they're probably carrying a gun. I couldn't comment one way or the other, but I said, hey, I'll add it to the list since you think it's appropriate. Um, wearing mechanics gloves or tactical gloves, I think probably they're talking more about cooler temperatures maybe, but they say that is an indicator. I don't know, that one's one I'm not really sure of. Stickers all over your car. 
obviously the really easy ones like Glock or SIG, but any Second Amendment stuff, 3 per stuff, any of that is a screaming indication that the occupant of that vehicle is carrying a gun. And as a side note, and or there may be some goodies in that car ready to be pilfered. Wearing camo clothing was another one they offered up. I don't know. I think probably depending on the area of the country you live in, that may or may not be a thing. But if you and all your buddies and everybody where you live always wears camo, I don't think anybody cares. If you're in a more suburban or urban area and you're the only one wearing camo, you're certainly gonna stand out. I don't know if everyone's gonna assume you're carrying a gun, but you're certainly gonna get noticed. This is a Virginia specific one, but uh, number 16 is don't tread on me plates, the yellow license plates. One of the, those recruits said, hey, those plates, that, that tells me they're carrying a gun. And I'm certainly an example of somebody who has those plates and I carry a gun, so I couldn't tell them they were wrong. Any military apparel, like grunt style or nine line, anything like that, Ranger Up was offered. Like if you see that, odds are good they have a gun. Once again, I've, I've fallen into that trap. So, uh, I mean, I'm wearing a, I think a Ranger Up shirt right now. So, yeah, uh, sure. Any tattoo with obviously gun stuff, Molon Lobby, 3%, any of that. Probably pretty obvious that person owns and probably carries a gun. A uh, haircut was called out, like somebody who's got a high and tight or a military style haircut. That, they say that is an indicator. Maybe. Flannel shirts with cargo pants was offered up. I've fallen into that category, so maybe. Gang colors and tattoos. Uh, also, once again, maybe. Uh, boots, tactical boots, hiking boots, any of that seems to be something where people see that and then they assume perhaps you're carrying a gun. Somebody said coming out of a gun store. Uh, okay, once again, I think it's eminently possible, so I can't discount it. Uh, there's a gun show this weekend. I think that it's uh, entirely possible that people in and around that area may have either ready access to guns or a gun on their person. Somebody said, well, they're open carrying. I can see the gun. Valid. I have my own thoughts about open carry and opinions on that vary, but if you're a big fan of open carry, you're wrong. I understand it's a constitutional right and I want you to be able to do it, but I think that it should be avoided for the most part due to any number of tactical considerations. But if you're open carrying, yes, they obviously have a gun. Uh, sling bags, they said, was an indicator. Like, um, I know 511 does them, Maxpedition does them, but they said if I see one of those, then I think they probably have a gun. Somebody brought up a fanny pack. While I believe it, I don't see a lot of people running those anymore, but I suppose that if we do see somebody in a fanny pack and minus the entire tourist like ensemble with like Mickey Mouse hats and other things, then yeah, it's possible there's a gun in that fanny pack. Custom license plates that have any sort of nine millimeter or Glock, whatever on them, obviously a pretty good indicator. Lastly on that list was any Second Amendment apparel from any other vendor. That makes sense to me as well. I know this is probably not a comprehensive list, but there are 28 of them. And if you think about it, there's probably at least a little bit of merit to many of those, if not all of those. And I offer this up for two reasons to you. One reason, obviously, if you are doing any of these things, if these are your habits, understand that you are consciously or subconsciously broadcasting some sort of signal to anyone who observes you. I'm not saying you have to erase these from your habits. I think that the being a perfect gray man, gray woman is difficult for most people to achieve, but understand that anything that you do that modifies this list away from it when it comes to your own behavior kind of reduces your signature. Secondly, the, the other side of the coin is, is maybe you wanna know who's carrying a gun around you or maybe you have strong suspicions to that effect. I think this list is a pretty good start. Like I said, I don't know that it's comprehensive, but it's, uh, it's not bad. So that's the 28 things I got when I did a little mini interview. 
Uh, I'll probably do one again six to 12 months from now. I'm kind of curious if that changes and how much overlap that is or there will be. But for now, here's your survey says, how can you tell when people are carrying a gun? If this video has been entertaining, informative, amusing, any of those, do me a favor guys, do like and subscribe. Any questions that you ask in the comments, I will gladly answer as quickly as I can get to them. And guys, uh, take care, stay safe. Get him, Jay. Jay, you don't have to go downstairs. I know, I'm recording right now. Love you.